Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Aditya Iyer. I am the co-founder of Neo Trader, and I'm really excited once again to be doing this live market analysis session with all you Neo Traders today. So yes, it's a Friday. It's the last day of the week. We had an expiry yesterday. We we had a pretty volatile market yesterday too. You know, the market was all over the place. In fact, it opened higher. Almost went close to 17,500. 17,491 was the high that it touched and then started falling down, right? So all the global, uh, you know, factors of China and Taiwan started playing out. And then we saw that the market recovered from there. So yes, a lot of action, both on the Nifty and the Bank Nifty yesterday. And today also we have the RBI policy meet, which is going to weigh in on the reaction that we'll see today on the market. Okay, guys. So yes. A warm welcome to everyone. Good morning to all of you. And, and if you can hear my voice clearly, and if you are able to, you know, see my screen, then let then just hit yes on the chat and we can begin with today's session. All right. Okay. So I can see that Suresh is there. Good morning, Suresh. Good morning, Rachet, Karthik, Naveen Basin, <clears throat> Rajesh Rajpal. All, it's great to see all of you guys here. Great to see that all of you have logged in <clears throat> and are uh, of it. Uh, Ashish Ray, good morning, Ashish. How are you? Nice. Nice to see many of you active. Yes. Yes. Good morning, Jay Kumar, Praveen, Amit Singh. Awesome. 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 It's great to see that all of you have logged in on time and are here to analyze the market, analyze the Nifty, analyze the Bank Nifty, find stocks, all of these things. We will do it together, all of us. Vishal Parmar, Vishal Pawar, Sushil Kumar. Nice, nice, nice. Superb, superb. That is great. Okay, so uh, without further ado, what we will do is we will start by analyzing the market, analyzing the Nifty and analyzing the Bank Nifty. So the, uh, uh, so the first things first is that we saw that the market opened higher yesterday. It opened higher, almost went and uh, it almost looked like it is going to touch 1700 and break out of it. And then it's, it came down, took support exactly at I had that resistance zone that we have been following for the past few days. And it moved up. We can see this big upper shadow that came. So one thing that you guys need to note is that you, you, you can see that this particular line that we've drawn around 17200 it has acted as a very very durable support because it's been tested once twice thrice and four times so all four all so the past three days if you look at the daily chart of the past three days um I, you know it was it was more or less showing this trend where it is opening one way and trying to close another way so let me go to the lower time frame charts to sort of uh, elaborate that in more detail like for example you can see that yesterday it opened lower it went lower and it closed at the it closed above the open you know it, it closed at the high of the day but uh, that was day before yesterday okay but yesterday what happened was that markets opened opened higher and it started moving down all the way to 17 to 100 so one thing that i told all of you in the morning itself that it's going to be uh, <clears throat> we don't want to jump into any trade right at open okay that was one thing in our pre market uh, analysis of yesterday we all discussed that we are not going to jump into the trade as soon as the market opens right so what we decided to do was when we saw this particular candle it was gap up and it was green but we decided to wait for the first 5 minute candle to close and we and as we always do, we we decided only to go long if and if we see some follow through after the gap. In the next 30, 40 minutes of trade, we saw that no follow through came because this particular high that was made in the first five minutes was not broken. And then what happened? Then we saw that it actually you know took resistance at the high of the day around there and then it started falling right and when it actually broke below r1 and previous day's high it fell non-stop so there was this 
time of i think uh, 20 this i think 20 minutes uh, uh, approximately between in this 20 30 minute period we saw this entire fall ensue on the nifty okay but the that we were prepared for 17200 and and we were prepared for the fact that it is a buy on tips market now why do i say that let me go back here to this chart where i drew the support for the nifty and you can see that every time there is a dip into 17200 it is getting bought into okay like here it got bought into here it got bought into and here also it is gotten bought into so what is happening is that that it is clearly on dips only pe people are buying when i say people i, I mean the uh, bigger hands okay and what possibly could have happened yesterday is that all the big hands that sort of bought here and bought here would have seen a gap up open and would have seen that the market is somewhere trading higher and the rbi policy meet is there today so people the bigger hands were in the money so maybe they decided to relinquish some of the positions before the rbi meet to see what happens and that's exactly what happened and it came back to 17200 and over here they bought again right so what is happening uh, so what is happening now is that um, the overall setup is that uh, of a higher open a fall to support and a recovery okay uh, that is happening on the nifty something similar is also happening on the bank nifty but 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 the extent of fall that we are seeing on the bank nifty is was a was much higher and the amount of recovery that we saw was lower okay so between the nifty and the bank nifty i find the nifty to be better placed because it fell less and the recovery was faster uh, but in the bank nifty that price damage was more and the recovery that followed from the lows was not very very uh, encouraging so clearly the bank nifty has to do more compared to the nifty to sort of reassert its bullish stance so first thing that i that, that we need to do is, is we need to sort of identify uh, support levels and we need to identify stop loss levels for both nifty and bank nifty in the nifty it is very 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 clear 17200 in the bank nifty i think that the previous day's low that is coming at 37250 ke aspas uh, around 37250 year previous day's low is <clears throat> is can be a good uh, stop loss level for especially multi day players so 37250 is one level that i want all of you to note down and of course on the nifty for the past many days i've been saying 17200 that is working very well so you all can continue maintaining that 17200 levels for the nifty as well okay so now let us go and have a look at the options data and see what is happening in terms of options yes yes karthik our rpi meet is there we will speak about that too but first let us go and check out what is happening in terms of the open interest setup for both the nifty and the bank nifty okay so for uh, so what i have here is I have gone into, um, I am using NeoTrader to do that. And I have all of this here, okay? I have support, I have resistance. I have the most active put and the most active call. And what you're seeing over here is the, is the, is the yesterday's close price, okay? Ye jo niche hai, ye nifty hai, ye wala bank nifty hai. Okay, so let me just change the color now. So it is simple, uh, first thing, based on the option chain okay so whatever analysis i'm going to show you right now it is it, it is the one that is being pulled out from the option chain okay i it is um it is it, it is only uh, it is only made more easier for you guys to see option chain mein both analysis karna hai. Yaha pe, uh, uska jo analysis karke dal diya hai for all stocks and the nifty bank nifty let us see for the index first okay so let me start with the nifty all right so the uh, first thing that we need to see on the nifty is that the uh, there has been call addition at 17500 okay so uh, so most active call ye ye, ye aapko dekha, active call the most active call jo hai and jahan ja, 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 pe call writers ka 
कलेक्शन इज द मैक्सिम इज सेवेंटीन फाइव हंड्रेड तो सेवनटीन फाइव हंड्रेड एक रेजिस्टेंस हो गया है निफ्टी के लिए सो निफ्टी विल हैव सो वी विल हैव टू कीप दैट इन कीप दैट इन माइंड वाइल वी प्लान आर ट्रेड्स बट वन थिंग इज दैट सेवनटीन फाइव हंड्रेड एक बार क्रॉस हो गया ना उसके बाद का नेक्स्ट रेजिस्टेंस जो है वो डायरेक्टली एटीन थाउजेंड पे है ओके सो वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू सेवनटीन फाइव हंड्रेड राइट नाउ ओके इफ सेवनटीन फाइव हंड्रेड इफ द मार्केट इज एबल टू टेक आउट द नेक्स्ट रेजिस्टेंस डायरेक्टली इज आर एटीन थाउजेंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ऑप्शन डेटा सो देर इज रूम फॉर द निफ्टी टू मूव इफ एंड ओनली इफ इट ओपन हायर and it's able to sustain a higher open it shows follow through and it moves up okay this can only happen this particular movement that we can see can only happen if the nifty is going to assert its bullishness and show follow through and actually go through with it okay to wo apne ko aaj when the market opens wo apne ko thoda we will have to analyze and we will have to pay attention to okay that is where the resistances were for the nifty let us now go to support and the most active put so where the cushion is there where the protection is there where the put writers are there maximum uh, the most active is 17300 so 17300 ke aas paas ek uh, you know ek cushion hai and then the next support after that the open interest based support is at 17000 okay so 17300 ke baad 17000 hi hai और बीच में ऑफकोर्स अपना 17,200 वाला लेवल भी है ओके सो प्रीटी मच क्लियर ऑन टू द निफ्टी लेट मी गो टू द बैंक निफ्टी एंड लेट मी टेल यू दैट 38,500 इज बिकमिंग अ वेरी वेरी मेजर रेजिस्टेंस ऑन द बैंक निफ्टी ओके अ लॉट ऑफ कॉल राइटर्स हैव कम देयर अनदर प्लेस वेयर द कॉल राइटर्स हैव बिकम वेरी वेरी एक्टिव इज 38,000 ओके सो 38,000 के आसपास बहुत कॉल राइटिंग आया है बट इंटरेस्टिंगली ओके ये जो 37500 का पुट है सारे पुट राइटर आके खड़े हो गए यहाँ पे 37500 टू गो एंड प्रोटेक्ट दैट ठीक है तो 38000 पे सारे कॉल राइटर्स है 38500 में है एंड 37 एंड 37500 में सारे पुट राइटर भी आके खड़े हो गए और यहाँ पे 36500 इज अ नेक्स्ट वन बट व्हाट इज मोर इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर मी इज दिस एंड दिस एंड this is happening in the bank nifty in spite of the fact that today is rbi policy meet and as uh, uh, who has written like that on the chat kartik yeah and has kartik has very rightly said that uh, there is going to be a 50 basis point hike okay so so what i'm hearing and what all of you guys are hearing and what we all are reading in the market is that a 50 basis point hike is more or less factored in in today's meeting and by the rbi and in spite of that the put writers are willing to protect 37500 okay so that is interesting maybe maybe there is wind in the market that this is factored in so it is business as usual or maybe they think that um, the rbi may not hike rates if the rbi doesn't hike rates so fir kuch alag hi ho jayega market mein but whatever happens we will know at around 10 30 11 ke aas pass wo speech shuru hota hai वो कुछ एक घंटे के लिए चलता है एवरी एवरी न्यूज चैनल क्या रेट हाइक करेगा रेट हाइक नहीं करेगा आप लोग मेरे को लिखो चैट में लिख के मेरे को बताओ and um, let us see what happens and how did you find this analysis so far again today we did a slightly different type of analysis than we did yesterday okay daily daily same same analysis to nahi kar sakte if the market is not the same even though the market appears to be the same every day there are certain aspects that are changing so based on those changing aspects we also need to change our analysis how did you find this particular analysis using our the particular uh, you know Uh, this options dashboard and iske basis pe ye, ye hai nifty hai aur ye bank nifty hai aur isse kya hai na aap log sab main dekh raha hu many of you just go and you all are struggling with option chain maine ye dekha hai bahut log jaake option chain dekhte ho wo alag alag uh, alag alag website mein jaake dekhte ho to sort of um, uh, you know uh, understand it iske andar hi bahut hi simplified way mein na resistance support active call active put de diya hai 
ये ये आप देख लो आपका काम बहुत इजी हो जाएगा इससे ठीक है ओके 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 सो दीपक सो नो जय कुमार से थर्टी फाइव बिप्स हाइक ओके सुरेश से हाइक होगा जय कुमार से गुड एनालिसिस इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड नाइस थैंक्स जय कुमार एंड आई वांट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर एबल टू डू दिस एनालिसिस डेली ओके डेली आई वांट यू गाइस टू कीप डूइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर एनालिसिस all right that was on the both the nifty and on the bank nifty uh, again i told you that it's going to be a very result heavy day and yesterday so yesterday adani group ki stocks ka result aaya adani enterprise and all that sab ka result aaya aaj bhi bahut sare results hai like mnm mnm was one big stock which was in the uh, which is very much active now mnm ka result hai mnm ka agm bhi hai aaj along with that let's see what else do we have let me go here and what else i have here see yeah here pe mnm ka uh hai your is mnm then there is paytm 197 communications ka result hai i am uh fir titan hai an important fno stock titan then there is alchem labs indigo paints green ply can plus sunmar ccl products kaplan point cams many many uh, many many mid cap stocks also are uh, showing their, their results today uh, from the mnc pack you have axon noble you have pfizer you have petronet lng from the uh, from the psc we have jindal saw from the metal sector that is coming from the mid cap it we have zenzar tech also jiska aaj result hai and many more so yes again another result heavy day but what uh, is important is the results that we saw for our stock adani enterprises so let me go here and let me go up i see that adani enterprises has announced its result almost 64% rise in revenue 38% rise in ebitda but somehow ye jo ebitda margin hai it was slightly softer 4.3 versus 5 but net profit was up you know 469 crore versus 304 crore so yeah, overall if you just take this ebitda margin away it seems like a decent result for adani enterprises then we then you have concor dalmia bharat gujarat alkalis gspl bml bear balkrishna industries alambic so many many results came out so the there will be the lic housing finance yeah so uh, <coughs> lic housing finance ka to kuch um, net profit up 6x my god 926 crore versus 1 151 crore the uh, ebitda up 27% margin 90% uh, revenue up 9% so yeah uh, we will we will we will surely see some reaction come in lic housing finance today on adani stocks today and all of these result stocks so yeah those are some set of stocks that we need to keep in mind along with that uh, we need to pay special attention to adani enterprises and, and adani ports because they both are in the news like you can see here uh, adani enterprises has won some uh, like road transport agreements because adani enterprises also has a very strong road business okay road construction infrastructure business and they have an ambitious plan to build uh, almost have road assets worth 30000 kilometers okay so because of that they are going out and they are acquiring new and new and new road assets to go and uh, uh, develop at the same time adani ports has signed an agreement for end to end logistics infrastructure in tanzania that axis bank is in the news burger paints also in the news okay so these stocks also might react so we should pay attention to them all right so <coughs> that's where the results were and that was where the nifty and bank nifty were so i think we are pretty much through with the result analysis with the stock analysis and with the bank oh yes of, and of course there is there is one global uh, queue that i missed covering that is of the bank of england so now jaise us mein there is fed hai jaise india mein rbi hai in in europe and in uk there is bank of england aur jo kal raat ko bank of england ka uh, meeting tha and they have decided to uh, increase rates by 50 basis points and like for example here if you see it is written here boe raises rates by more since 1995 1995 ke baad ye highest rate hike tha and <coughs> i think it's getting their rate to 1.75% or something they have reached now <coughs> so yes 
50 bips rate hike from week. But again, that was also factored in and it was something on expected lines. Okay. All right. So, uh, so now what we will do is we will go and we will see. Uh, okay, it's one point nine five percent, not one point seven five percent. Is uh, I think uh, he has corrected me there. So yes, so your we can. Uh, no, it is one point seven five only, not one point nine five. Yeah, they go half point increase to one point seven five percent. Yeah, यहाँ पे लिखा है. This is not 1.95. Your half point increase to 1.75. Okay. Here, here we have it. And y'all can go and y'all can read the news. It is there. There are hundreds of articles that are on uh, you know on this. But the important thing was it was the biggest interest rate hike in 27 years. So that is one thing that is, you know, really, um, you know, that is what has made it to the news really. Okay. So it is time to now go and start looking at some stocks. And when we look at stocks, I've been using this one strategy for many days called Kumo twist, which has been working well. So I'm going to continue using the, uh, the, uh, this particular strategy. Uh, it is uh, for that I'm going, I'll see it on daily chart. Normally what I do on Monday, I see the ones that came on weekly chart, but on the other days I look at daily chart and I will go to daily chart here. And all I do is I just go and I click this particular thing here. You can see this Kumo twist bullish because the market now is on the upside. I'm seeing the bullish stocks bearish we dekh sakte ho. and I will sort it on the basis of score. I want the high score wala item first. And what is the first stock that I'm seeing here? The first stock that I'm seeing is, is Marico. Second is Zydus Life Sciences. And third is Loris Labs. Okay. Ye team stock aya hai from the FNO pack. So let us go and look at Marico first. Marico ka aaj AGM bhi hai. Another side point that, uh, you know, you guys can keep in your rate. Keep in mind that uska, that is also a AGM of Marico. So I've put my uh, Ichimoku, I put RSI and ADX also. If people are wondering what this is. And if I see here, I find that Marico out of the cloud, out of the TSKS line here, I can find the, the CS line also is free without any resistance. I can see that RSI also has crossed 60. I find there is decent distance between this red line and green line, which is the minus D and plus D and line and EDX also is on a rising trend. So yes, pretty good setup on the daily chart of Marico. And I think Marico is something that you all, all you guys need to keep in mind, not only for intraday trade, you can even think of building multi-day trades here in Marico. So please leave a comment and tell me what you think about this chart Marico. Mary Subseto ye kafi acha ek acha setup lagra on daily. And I feel this is a setup. Uh, this can be a candidate that can sort of be there for the uh, next week also. Okay. We can keep it in our radar for next week also, this stock, Marico, because the chart setup looks strong. The next stock that we saw was Loris Labs, right? Let us look at Loris Labs. Yes, very, very similar setup. I find it Loris Labs also. It is just about broken out of the cloud. RSI also has just come above 60. Uh, <clears throat> the ADX, not as much, not as bullish as Marico, but still on positive territory. So yes, Loris Labs also is looking pretty decent. And another thing I, I had noticed is that in our multi-day trade, okay, you go to multi-day trade. We have an active trade on Loris Labs. Jo kal aaya tha. It came yesterday. So all the all our new trader users would have already gotten this trade yesterday. Three baje ko aap log ne ye trade le liya hoga, huh? But um, 
so but we are doing we are analyzing that now and we are seeing that the setup in glorious labs also is good these are multi day trades okay these are not intraday okay uh, yes navin basin says loris labs also a multi day so all the stocks that we are seeing in como twist in daily are all multi day plays we can take these stocks we can uh, keep them we can do intraday trades also in these stocks because the trend is good but if you are doing intraday uh, trades it should be in the direction of the trend now we have seen that marico and loris both the trend is positive say today or tomorrow it gave a reaction and it gave some short signals in intraday we don't want to take that we want to ignore that we we want to go and find stocks that are bearish on daily and weekly aur unme apne ko intraday ka short signal lena hai theek hai this way if we do if we follow this particular approach we will uh, get very low uh, fall signal we, we we will always get the right signal okay so that was loris labs third one was zydus life sciences let us check out zydus life sciences तो जाइडस लाइफ साइंसेस भी दी अदर टू स्टॉक्स का सेटअप पर मच बेटर बिकॉज ये ऑफकोर्स ये यहाँ पे रिएक्शन देखिए रिवर्सल कैंडल आया है यहाँ पे हाँ विच इज टेकन एट आउटसाइड द रेंज एंड विच इज ऑल्सो टेकन एट अबाउ ऑल योर इचिमोको लाइन्स आर एस आई स्टिल नॉट अबाउ सिक्सटी ईयर ओके आर एस आई स्टिल नॉट अबाउ सिक्सटी एंड ईयर वी हैव अ क्रॉस क्रॉस ओवर इज देर ऑन दस पर एडीएक्स इज लो ठीक है सो यस बिटवीन द स्टॉक्स i would think that um, the loris labs and marico were better to wo do aap aapke shortlist pe rakho ye track karte hai zydus ko and we'll see how it pans out 9 12 3 more minutes to go <coughs> before the market starts and i think more or less jo bhi apne ko analysis karna tha humne kar liya but ek aur cheez main dekhta hu mujhe na i do another thing uh, i do another ichimoku based strategy i use which is very very powerful okay it is it is it it gives out very good stocks especially for multi positional and investment trades you know multi day positional investment for carry forward trades ke liye wo bahut acha hai it is when the close is above the cloud okay when when the stock closes above the cloud and at the same time the chiku span the cs line also has moved above the price above the cloud and above and it is free okay that is what uh, is when the close is bullish and the chiku span also is bullish same way uska opposite is when the close is bearish uh, it is close is below the cloud and the chiku span also is bearish usme bahut acha trade milta hai par bahut hi kam uh, trade milega because it is very difficult for stocks to fulfill this condition and bahut sare days ke baad after many days i have actually got a trade here on daily when i did Close crosses cloud and when I did CS bullish, I have gotten these two stocks: JSW Steel and Astral Poly. Okay, these two stocks I have got. So let me go and check out this chart of JSW Steel. So JSW Steel should clearly, clearly be on your uh, radar now for a uh, bullish trade, and you can see this how it has gone. It is sort of uh, it is consistently moving up. and i have spoken about institutional buying patterns and what i'm seeing here is a classic institutional buying pattern koi sa some big hand is building position here to apne ko is pe dhyan dena chahiye csw steel mein theek hai two more minutes to go guys before the market opens i hope you guys have understood why i picked csw steel aapne dekha yahan pe bhi aaya and you are opening the chart and you yourself are seeing now because rsi has moved up one way we might see we can see some reaction here till the cloud okay cloud tak apne ko shayad kuch reaction yahan pe mil sakta hai but till it is a stock we should keep in our radar the next stock that we can see can be astral <coughs> astral also is a is very very similar setup both these stocks i am not saying from intraday trading perspective i am i am talking from a trend following perspective trend both strong hai isme to hum isme intraday humko isme we we have to see how we can participate in that trend through whatever trades we get okay awesome awesome theek hai guys 915 ओके एंड अगेन वन मोर डे वी हैव डन ऑल एनालिसिस एंड वी आर रेडी बाय 9:15 ठीक है अभी लेट अस सी व्हिच वे द मार्केट ओपन्स नाउ एंड फॉर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू 
go to the nifty and i find that an insight on the daily i'm getting an insight candle on the nifty let me go to the uh, intraday chart and open and see what is happening on the nifty aaj kya hua hai nifty mein ye refresh marega ha here we have again we've got a slight gap up open on the nifty like you can see here a slight gap up open slight gap up and it is in green but let us wait and let us see what happens before we take any decision okay next let us let us go to bank nifty what is happening in bank nifty bank nifty also same uh, <coughs> it is opening at around the cpr only okay okay so ek cheez hai i want all of you guys to know is that today it may not make sense taking a trade until that meeting is over that is what i feel okay so that is so because ye rbi policy aane wala hai uske hisab se market mein reaction hoga so maybe we should wait for that to get out of the way and then take our trades that might make more sense for all of us for everyone here what do you guys think you please tell me तो आप लोगों को क्या लगता है आप लोग लिखो चार्ट में अभी ट्रेड लेना चाहिए क्या आज मॉर्निंग में कि अपने को आरबीआई पॉलिसी के लिए वेट करना चाहिए अपने को व्हाट शुड वी डू या प्लीज टेल मी ऑन द चैट व्हाट डू यू गाइस थिंक व्हाट डू यू गाइस फील या हाउ यू वांट टू सॉर्ट ऑफ टेक इट हाउ यू वांट टू यू नो प्लान टूडेज डे ओके नथिंग इन नथिंग इन Uh, from my watch list there is nothing here <coughs> so i go to bullish momentum also nothing everything level 3 mein level 2 level 1 mein kuch bhi nahi aaya abhi tak nifty fno mein bhi zyada kuch dikh nahi raha hai abhi 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 to so nahi we have to wait na for the first 5 minutes we have to wait for the first 5 minutes candle to close but in the meantime i want you guys to write what you guys think chinmay is here chinmay hi chinmay says it is better to wait okay chinmay we will wait what about all of you others are you agreeing with what chinmay is saying <clears throat> do you agree with chinmay yes bharat kumar says it is wise to wait aryan hukumani says after rbi policy will give clarity okay yes so i think the consensus that is coming here is that all of you are going to wait what about Jay Kumar Menon, what about Ganesh Vinayagam? What about Deepak Kamath? All of you other Sarthi, what about you guys? What are you going to do? You are going to wait or you are going to trade? कि दोनों Nifty Bank Nifty लिख Nifty Red में दिख रहा है, Bank Nifty Green में दिख रहा है, हाँ? What to do? Navin Basin says better to wait. Dev Chandra also says he will wait. Okay, like Ganesh is either wait or keep light position with straight stop loss. Okay. okay okay so yes i think the overall consensus that is coming out is to wait so let me now go to the dashboard and see what is happening on the dashboard and let us go now and change this to open and and let's see what is the verdict of the market has the market decided to wait let us see okay two stocks are really up manapuram and muthoot fin okay okay uh, manapuram muthoot finner up then there is cub ultra sem nam india okay so no and when i go down what do i find niche gale hai burger pain balkrishna industar crompton okay so i have only one stock in the red yeah and i have two stocks navin basin says metals are looking strong on the dashboard i spoke to you guys about jsw steel i showed you the chart you all can also go and keep that in your radar ye wo bhi aaj positive mein hai uh, tata steel hai yahan pe vdl hai yes you are right uh, you are right navin metals are there here any other nalco also is here or kya sale also is here ta britannia also is in the positive positive iska result hai aaj britannia ka लाल पैथ लैब और क्या है एनी अदर सेक्टर एनी अदर सेक्टर चोला फिन इज योर मुथूट फिन 
चोला फिन एनी अदर स्टॉक फ्रॉम एनबीएससी कैन फिन होम्स है ओके ठीक है लेट मी गो इन टू द निफ्टी एंड सी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग फर्स्ट लेट अस गो हियर एंड लेट अस सी कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द निफ्टी या यस जो व्हाट जो इज सेइंग इज दैट ही विल वेट फॉर आरबीआई पॉलिसी protecting capital is better than making profit is is what joe says with his wives yeah again i will come back here so here i have jsw steel i have grasim lnt ultrasem okay so yes cement stocks i can see ek to ultrasem hai dusra grasim hai uh, then i think i saw ramco somewhere uh, ramco i saw uh, is uh, over there udhar ramco bhi tha नहीं बस ये श्री सीमेंट सब फ्लैट है जो वन परसेंट के ऊपर है बाकी सब देखो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट के आसपास है पूरा जो है ये पूरा जो मार्केट है पॉइंट फाइव के ऊपर पॉइंट फाइव नीचे चल रहा है so it is very clear and reliance is 1% close to 1% down so no great uh, movement on the uh, nifty today so i think the market also is decided to wait for the rbi policy meet so even the market seems to be waiting how do we know we can see that most stocks here are flat aap log khud hi dekh lo sab flat hi hai yahan pe so uh, market bhi wait and watch kar raha hai nifty bank mein jaake dekhte hai bank nifty mein kya ho raha hai bank nifty to aur bhi zyada flat hai All stocks are flat in Bank Nifty. Ye A U Bank, A U Bank, A K is just a lot of volatile. It goes. It will be three percent up, or it will be four percent down, or it will be one percent down when everything else is flat. So yes, A A U Bank is like an outlier in the entire Bank Nifty pack. It's an outlier. It goes on its own, on its own, on its own mercy. But overall, when I look at the um, you know the, this we can see that the high weighted stocks are all flat yes uh, um, sbi life insurance cpr narrow level 3 all dots green also in kumoto yes so i am very happy about that som ranjan has brought this and i have told you guys that if someone koi koi aisa champion hai to ye ranjan hai because i explained to you for the past 3 days main aap log sabko bol raha hu about sbi life I have been telling you that SBI Life is one of the stocks that you need to keep in your radar, and SBI Life is one of the buy on dips candidates that you need to focus on. And if you see, Ranjan has properly, properly, he has kept track of that. And he is now writing in the chat. And you have to tell him all. No, so you have, you have, you have to, you have to, you have to thank him on, only for his initiative, only for the initiative that he takes to sort of, uh, you know. Uh, see everything and to uh, and um, you know track everything very good we we will still have to wait though in sbi life let us go to the daily chart because because what analysis i did on sbi life was a positional trade okay because why because kumo twist happened on weekly theek hai weekly mein wo aaya tha theek hai to yes um ये ये वीकली में ये वाला जो है सपोर्ट है विच कैन बी लाइक अ बाय ऑन डिप लेवल एंड इट इज इफ यू सी इट इज कंसोलिडेटिंग अबाउट दैट एज वेल सो इट इज अ स्टॉक वेरी क्लियरली इन एन अप ट्रेंड सो अ स्टॉक दैट इज इन एन अप ट्रेंड वी नीड टू कीप इन आर रेडार एंड एज सुन एज वी सी वी सी दैट इट ओनली गेव अ पोक इट ओनली गेव अ पोक अबाउट विद प्रीवियस डेज हाई इट इज नॉट क्लोज अबाउट सो लेट एज वेट टू सी वेदर इट क्लोज अबाउट एंड गिवज एज एन आर वन लेवल वन ट्रेड ठीक है तो एस बी आई लाइफ यस यू कैन डेफिनेटली कीप इन योर रेडर एंड आई एम हैप्पी दैट यू आर यू नो एनालाइजिंग दैट डॉक्टर लाल पैथ लैब अब आर वन एंड एंटर सो लेट अस लुक एट दिस लाल पैथ लैब ओके फर्स्ट लेट मी गो टू सी पी आर एंड सी हाउ द मार्केट इज प्लेस्ड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू विथ सी पी आर आई एम गोन टू चेक फॉर द निफ्टी एंड चेक फॉर द बैंक निफ्टी उसके बाद उन्हें आई एम गोन टू सी द stocks okay wo kaam mein first i am going to do why because it will give me an idea on what to you know really 
uh, what is the setup of the market? You know, only by looking at the chart whether it broke this level or that level, you don't need to uh, see only that. We can see other things. We can do more uh, wider analysis also to get perspectives on what is happening. And one such perspective is using CPR and looking at components of the index and actually sort of deciding how many are, where are they as per their CPR, you know, that is one uh, way of doing that. Now let me choose. Okay, now I will first choose. Load hone do. Yeah, I don't want need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to shut it. Oh, here we are. CPR ka page is a gaya hai. And ye isko bad karta hu. Haan, ye refresh page hai. Proper. Here we are. Okay, more stocks in narrow, less stocks in wide. Reason for that is the limited range of movement that we saw yesterday. That was one. Now, when I go down, of, of course, Lal Path Labs here on all three green dots, Hindustan Petroleum, Titan, Whirlpool. Titan ka aaj result, hai, uh, result hai, by the way. Bharti Airtel, LTI, ITC, okay, Oro Pharma, Grasim okay, was up. In, in the morning, MNM, MNM ka bhi aaj result hai. Chola Fin, Deepak Nitrate, Pidilite. Okay, ye sare stocks hai. But let me now go and choose Nifty and see what happens. Let me choose Nifty. And when I choose Nifty, I clearly see that there are more stocks on level 1, level 2, level 3 on the green side and lesser stocks here. So what I'm saying is, what I'm telling you is this. On the red, Mere paas itna stocks hai. but at the same time on the green, I have many more stocks. So now all of you guys tell me which way is the market uh, market biased on the uh, nifty bias? Is the nifty biased on the downside or is the nifty biased on the upside? Aap log likho ko chat mein. Based on this, what you see, it is a stock hai green man huh? or it or see within a stock here red man. So what do you guys think? The market is biased on on the bullish side for the nifty or the bearish side. Where is the bias? Please tell me. Where is the bias? Please write on the chat. Same way, let us go and let us see for the bank nifty as well. Bank nifty may ye essa hai level three may ye wale stocks hai. Or level three red may ye wale stocks. Hai. Okay. So first I have six versus four. Right. And I have Axis Bank, HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank, SBI, and ICICI Bank. All the high weighted stocks are above CPR in the bank nifty. And all the low weighted stocks are below. Okay. Naveen says that it is bullish. Yeah. Jay Kumar says it is neutral. Yeah. Uh, Tapan says, can I sell bank nifty? Wait, we will, we will, we will first create our view. Uh, like once the view is clear, Tapan, you, you yourself will be able to realize what you need to do. Um, uh, Jinmay says that the nifty bias is on the bullish side. Rajiv Agniyotri also says it is on the bullish side. So, uh, so yes. So, ek cheez hai ki there is no um, bearish bias to hai nahi. So, and so let us go now and let us look at the chart of the Nifty. So, clearly, Nifty also is above CPR and it is moving. Is it like strongly bullish? No, I would not say it is strongly bullish, but the overall bias at least is on the upside. It is neutral to bullish, is what is how I would put it. Okay. Uh, like, why is it neutral to bullish? Because the market as such for two, three days is like in one sort of a wait and watch consolidation mode okay so that is one thing that we need to keep in mind same same way in the bank nifty also uh if if you saw all the high weighted stocks were actually above cpr and all the low weighted stocks were below cpr so that is one thing is um um uh, you know that is one thing that is actually you know a reason why we are seeing some green on the bank nifty as well so both nifty and the bank nifty the the bias pretty much is bullish okay so now tapan you are asking can i sell bank nifty 37900 here 
अभी आप ही मेरे को बताओ आपको सेल करना है कि नहीं करना है अभी हमने ये एनालिसिस अब हमने अभी किया दैट वी सॉ बोथ निफ्टी वी सॉ बोथ बैंक निफ्टी वी आर सीइंग इट ऑन द चार्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सीपीआर वी हैव गॉन एंड सीन ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स एज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सीपीआर वी सॉ दैट द हाई वेटेड कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द बैंक निफ्टी ओके आर एक्चुअली हियर कंपेयर्ड टू द लो वेटेड कंपोनेंट सो इट इज Clearly, either neutral or neutral to bullish. Bearish to nahi hai na, huh? So agar aisa setup hai, tapan, would you want to short Bank Nifty right now? Would you want to sell it right now, or would you want to wait to see more of these guys move here and wait for more um, indication from the market that that it is showing some bearishness, and then decide? Okay. Nifty will test 17480 level. HUL is crossing R3. Okay, Nifty will test 17480 level. So let us go to the chart of the Nifty. And here is our 17480 level. If you see, is our level one zone. So ये वाला जो zone है, ये zone is around 17480. So ये zone को ये zone को cross करने के बाद ही हम हमको कोई bullishness dikhai dega and i think the rbi policy may what will happen will decide whether it will cross or not cross anyway ek ghanta hai aur for that speech to start so let's see abhay deshmukh says ultra tech cement moving up approaching r3 i think ultra tech cement we saw in the morning also dashboard mein it was among the top gainers and agar r3 approach kar raha hai to apne ko apne ko very clear hai what we need to do we saw that thoda bahut cement sector also was in play today the stock also was amongst the top gainers and here it is very close to r3 so what do we need to do what is next guys what is next please tell me what do we have to do we have to wait for r3 to break out okay ek bar r3 break out aaya to apne ko trade apne ko milega jisne bhi morning mein le liya r1 ke upar usne le liya us uska profit booking ka time bhi aa gaya but who have not taken in the morning you will have to wait for r3 level to break out and then you can think of entering this trade in ultra sem okay all right okay <coughs> and what else do we have what else do we have let us go it is 9:30 let me go now and choose nifty fno and see what is happening overall ultra tech also open low so let me go to rolling ticker here and let me write ultra sem here you got this open low signal right at 917 it crossed its previous day high at at 923 and we got a cpr level 1 breakout at at 925 then at 930 we got score of 2 then at 932 we've got bb cut bullish so yes rolling ticker has been doing a very good job of tracking ultra sem so these are all the bullish signals that we have got in ultra sem so all of you people who are following early morning signals like dawn like open high open low and all of the and previous day uh, high low cross r1 you all would have been able to It really take this trades really early in the morning. People who are not following early morning signal who are waiting for R three breakout. R three breakout is not an early morning signal. That आपका chance आ रहा है, ठीक है? L I C housing uh, finance profit eight thousand superb superb James Kumar great. L I C housing finance is also one of the stock that is you know uh, announcing its results today. So yes, that is one thing that. Uh, always result stock should be in your radar here and you can see that it is already crossed given a cpr buy on cam so if i look here and if i write lic housing finance <coughs> here it is right from here it has taken a very quick trade cpr breakout trade so it's a very quick trade that uh, jay kumar has taken Absolutely, Ganesh. Absolutely, all of you people. If you can, if you can catch open low by nine eighteen to nine twenty uh, ten 
out of 10, seven times you can make uh, make profit. Absolutely true. And you can very easily uh, catch open high, open low uh, trades over here uh, from rolling ticker. Okay. So from rolling ticker, you can very easily catch these trades. Uh, expert alerts may jake be you can go and you can catch all of these op uh, these uh, uh, open high open low trades ye yahan pe aa jata hai. and for you guys if you want to do open high open low in a very uh, sort of easy to use ways another form is to go and also use the dawn strategy like for example if you see on uh, we have this thing called uh, ready made trades over here yahan pe jayenge yahan pe intraday trades aata hai and if you see uh, ye jo dawn strategy hai exactly ultra sem has come here dekho yahan pe ultra sem ka trade aaya exactly at 917 t1 met bhi ho gaya okay so you can very clearly you uh, take these trades in fact um, the current price of ultra uh, of ultra sem is Yes, so almost we are here at 6740 and if you see ye, uh, early morning mein ye, aapko trade ye de de hai. so almost t2 t2 ke aspas abhi ye aa gaya ye wala jo trade tha dawn ka it is it is already come to t2 okay so target 2 and and if we get r3 breakout target 3 bhi aa sakta hai so all of you who have taken this ultra sem ka trade from ready made trades page you all can go and you all can start trailing your stop loss now because R3 yahan pe aa gaya, you all can start trailing your stop loss upwards. Okay. So yes, um, open high, open low is a very, very powerful strategy and it is available to all of you here inside, inside the ready-made trade phase. If you want more trades, this is medium, right? From medium change to high, you would have, you would have, you will, you will get more trades from high. You make it all up to see the other trade is made. Milega. Okay. So all of these things you can do, all right, in order to sort of find trade. So, so if you can see for uh, people who, who, who like to take your own trades, right? So this is the analysis that I'm showing. But suppose you are someone who does not have time to do this particular and have uh, analysis, go and see that this may open high, open low, yeah, dawn strategy, and dawn strategy is not just open high, open low. Open high, open low, bohot sare stocks de bohot sare stocks. Okay, it is uh, in in dawn strategy what happens there are some added filters that are put only a stock out of say 15 20 stocks only one or two stocks will qualify for dawn okay so and wo wala jo hai na, like do, today only one stock qualified ultra sem or ye aapko uspe t2 aa bhi gaya okay so all of you saw that so, uh, uh, so a simpler way to do it is to see it from here and to do it. okay so there are various ways you can do it. Like, for example, yeah, there are multi-day trades also. Like we discuss Loris Labs from Kumo Twist and all of these things. Suppose you don't have analysis hai. directly. Bhi pe aapko, uh, multi -day trade mein ye Loris Labs aapko mil gaya. So, aap ye dekh sakte ho. so all of these things are there. All of these things are available for you people. Okay. So <coughs> the, the only thing thing is that jo trade jahan pe ready made mein aata hai do not do extra analysis on that because ye sara analysis karne ke baad bhi aata hai like for example there is positional trade positional trade mein there is gnft icici bank dabar is pe extra analysis mat karna if you do extra analysis you are like it will become over analysis ho jayega so that is why if you guys have noticed any trade that comes here I don't pick up open the chart and see abhi ye trade isme hai, ye bhi khol ke mein dekhta hu, isme kya kar No, I don't do that. Why? Because there are already five, six, seven conditions put in. Only after it crosses all those five or six or seven conditions, it comes here. After those six, uh, ek to six seven conditions ke baad, you want to add condition eight, condition nine, condition ten, then your own bias, it will become, uh, it'll become too much. It'll become over. So that is the way. And it's a, and it's great for people who are new, people who are starting out, who, who are not doing, don't have not yet learned to do your own analysis. These pages are fantastic for all of you. Okay, and for people who know to do their own analysis, you you can you can go to CPR directly, and you can like how uh, like how uh, Jay Kumar Menon is doing. He's saying uh, VDL has crossed, metal sector is good, and CPR also is 
narrow. So let me go here and let me go to your yes. He says that CPR is narrow and here I can find that it is there in CPR narrow. I see VDL here. Okay, so VDL automatically becomes a good candidate for me. And when I go down here uh, uh, in level one, I see there are many stocks, but yes, I find VDL all the way here, but only one green dot. Okay, only one green dot. So another way to do it is many of you ask me, if so many signals came, which one do I pick? That is by creating a watch list. I showed you yesterday how we created this watch list. I'll just go here and I'll choose my bullish momentum watch list. And my bullish momentum watch list say only two stocks had come today, MNM and ITC. Okay, so I don't need to see so much. My focus are only these two stocks. Now my decision making has come down to only two. I will go here and I will see here and I will write <coughs> MNM. And I'll see here. So, so MNM may aya uh, ye open hi hua upar, uski baad niche aya. Okay. Abhi, in fact, MNM is starting started to starting to get ready now for a trade. Okay. So MNM is here. And next, let me look at ITC. ITC may abhi just about abhi apne ko mil raha. So MNM may I will wait. ITC may I can I can decide. So my decision now is down to one stock. Okay. Then another stock we saw, what was that? VDL. Let us look at VDL. Yes, VDL me aagya. <coughs> Very much aagya hai. Here, I have narrow CPR and I see that it has come in VDL also. Okay. So yes, VDL has pretty much shown me. Let me go here and see rolling ticker ke through VDL. Dekho. Here, I have previous days high crossed VB bullish cut. Okay, ye bhi aa gaya. So yes, we are a go in VDL. All right, all right. Ganesh has entered both Grasim and Titan. Jay Kumar has entered VDL. Naveen Basin is seeing Loris Labs. Loris Lab is heading towards its first target of 554. So let us look at uh, uh, Loris Labs is one of the stocks that we saw from Kumar Twist, no? So let us look at Loris Labs and we can see that Loris Lab has already started moving up today. Huh? And agar mein yaha pe, uh, yaha pe jau, all the all the guys using NeoTrader would have taken this Loris Labs trade like Naveen has at 3 o'clock yesterday. So your uh, first target is what? Your first target is 5.54. It is already coming clear that it is at 5.49 right now. So all, all the new traders would have entered at 544. So 1% already the new traders have got. And here the first target I got T1. Uski baad T2 hai or T3 bhi hai. Okay. So ye already <coughs> is pe gaya. So but one thing is there. Uh, when you see it in other places, aapka confidence bhi bad jata hai to go and hold that particular trade. Right. So yeah. That that is how we do it. So with that, I want you guys to now go and like this particular video. All of you here, you are supposed to like the video, huh? I uh, come on, guys. Together, I want all of you to go and hit the like button. Please like everyone. I'm waiting, and I will give you two minutes time to like this video, and then we will continue. Okay. Come on, guys. I want to see the likes go up. Yeah. Keep hitting that like button. I want to see the likes likes go up. Yes. Jay Kumar says holding becomes easy when it is reflected in multiple places. That is the thing. Division support. Okay. You always need constantly in the market. You need something to support your division because you, know, you take the trade. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Kabhi nahi hota ki, especially it is more for multi-day positional trades. Intraday ka trade jo hota hai, phir bhi na, ek ghante mein khatam ho jata hai. Ek ya, one or two hours max. But multi-day positional trades, you will hold for weeks together. 
एंड इन दोज वीक्स वो ऊपर जाएगा नीचे आएगा ऊपर जाएगा नीचे आएगा बहुत यू नो लॉट ऑफ टेंशन हैपन्स टू मोस्ट ऑफ यू पीपल एंड इट इज इट इज इट इज नॉट इजी आई नो so that is exactly why when you have multiple things to support your decision it will give you confidence nahi nahi i hold karta hu hold karta hu hold karta hu hey t1 se ya t2 ke liye hold karta hu nahi t3 ke liye hold karta hu stop loss trail karta hu all of those things na all that confidence you will start getting uh, once you do it because uh, because sabko lagta hai na multi day position karna easy hai intra day tough hota hai main to bolta hu sabse difficult na positional trade positional trade is the most difficult you know why because the daily pnl managing is not easy for most people and in a positional trade you will have to look at various sort of cycles that the market will go through various news based uh, various other factors that will affect the stock movement of the stock because of what is happening in the broad broad the market that will lead to a lead to a drawdown then it will come back up then it will come back down then it will come back up seeing that happen every day every day is not easy it's not an easy thing to do so it is uh, you know yeah like how jay kumar is saying heart attack ho sakta hai utna 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 bada position mat lo aur utna quantity mein trading mat karo ki pnl dekh ke aapko heart attack ho jaye trade with that much quantity and only uh, only book that much loss so that by uh, that, that can be acceptable to you both financially and mentally sometimes even if you can accept the loss financially you can accept it mentally you know it keeps affecting you so see both your uh, see uh, see uh, see everything and only then decide the quantity of your uh, trade all right based on that you uh, based on that you should trade okay so did it with natural gas got fed up positional with loss of 50k okay yes neo makes it easy honestly grasim starts moving it was 150k loss got out with 50k loss okay okay dev chandra mandal says tube investment ti india looks looks bullish on daily nice Ganesh says, "Be a saint when you trade. No emotions. Nice, nice, good. So, tube investment. You have taken. Where did you pick it up? Dev Chandra Mandal. Can you just tell us from where you picked it out? Ah, we will show the rest of the people. Also, we will show it. In the meantime, let us see what came in Haikanashi. Let me go to Haikanashi dashboard. And what is coming here in Haikanashi dashboard? I prove new trend." पेज इंडस्ट्रीज एलकेम तो आईसीआईसीआई प्रू में कुछ न्यू ट्रेंड आया है तो लेट अस चेक आउट आईसीआईसीआई प्रू आर थ्री के ऊपर भी गया तो इट इज वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग मूवमेंट इन आई प्रू फर्स्ट लॉन्ग बॉडी अबाउ आर थ्री एंड follow through also what else do we have i have a list of 50 looks which i follow on daily basis okay what else do we have let us see aur kuch aaya hai kya abhi dekhte hain emphasis escorts theek hai let us look at ti india on daily chart let's see what is happening on ti india on daily chart yes if i see here it is going up it it it, it was moving on an uptrend it faced some stiff resistance here and it's not coming down but it is taken support and it is recovering from support so as of as of right now it is tagging the higher uh, the ts line and it is staying up about that so yes and rsa also has moved about 60 so yes di india also is looking positive let us go to stock analyzer and see what is uh, what is uh, what does ti india say on daily let us write this 
ट्यूब इन्वेस्टमेंट इफ आई गो टू यस इट इज सेंग इट इज इट से बाय it very much says uh, stock analyzer says by ichimoku bull score is 84 that is what we saw on the chart very clearly it's see it, it, ichimoku bull score is showing 84 uh, this is also showing by so yes it is it is bullish even stock analyzer has confirmed that okay so how you know to so now dev chandra you know how to confirm now okay you know how you need to confirm the stocks from your uh list whether it is bullish or no okay okay so uh, now let us go and to ichimoku ye ichimoku ka dashboard hai so let me go and see what anything has come any kumo twist has come on 30 minutes let me let me find out 30 minutes chart mein kuch aaya hai kya wo bahut sara hai let us see with the highest score sun pharma and ultrasen dekha ultrasen ko me kumo twist bhi hua hai in 30 minute time frame to ultrasen everywhere wherever we go we are seeing ultra uh, ultra tech cement only and sun pharma bhi aa gaya one more item to maybe we can look at sun pharma but um, although pharma sector mein kuch khas tezi hai nahi but uh, sun pharma mein maine dekha tha ki there was some long addition and here we are aap apne ko level 1 bhi hai sun pharma so that is but cpr is wide so you have to be a little careful in sun pharma because it is showing wide cpr here here you can see it is there okay one more thing i i would like all of you guys to see is narrow 7 wide 7 okay ye jo hai this is very useful this is wide 7 this is narrow 7 <coughs> ye stocks you should be uh, like for example lic housing finance was in wide set wide 7 and we saw that um, uh, jack kumar booked very fast profits he didn't wait very fast he he, he booked profit why because it is in wide 7 means that the chances of it to show bigger moves now is going to be little difficult because the range has become very very wide okay and the exact opposite is narrow 7 and sbi life is seems to be one of the stock that is there in narrow 7 year what else is there in narrow 7 tvs motor any of the trades that we discussed are there in hindustan unilever was here i saw someone wrote hul on the chat so wo hai to ye suppose yahan pe uh, you got a trade and you are you are thinking of taking the trade or wo ye narrow 7 may be hai na so that is a chance that it is a added advantage for your trade okay it is a plus you have taken kind a of trade and it is in wide 7 and if you're if 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 you're taking like a contrarian trade so it is it is fine suppose you are you are waiting for any of these stocks to go and hit resistance or apne reverse reversal dhoond rahe ho na for reversal candidates wide 7 is good but for breakout and directional candidates narrow 7 will add weightage to your trade okay so aapne agar koi breakout dhoond rahe ho और वो स्टॉक नैरो सेवन में भी है तो चांसेस ऑफ द ब्रेकआउट वर्किंग इज हायर ओके आप अगर कोई ब्रेकआउट का स्टॉक ले रहे हो और वो स्टॉक वाइड सेवन में है चांसेस ऑफ द ब्रेकआउट टू वर्क इज इज लोअर बट यू आर सीइंग दैट द स्टॉक इज हिटिंग रेजिस्टेंस एंड इट इज टेकिंग रेजिस्टेंस इन गोइंग डाउन एंड यू वॉन्ट टू शॉर्ट दैट स्टॉक और यू वॉन्ट टू सेल अ कॉल ऑप्शन ओवर देर एंड इट इज ऑल्सो इन वाइड सेवन दैट इज एडिंग to the probability of your trade working in your favor so both this all the stocks in wide 7 narrow 7 very important you must always pay attention you must always come and see what is there in both wide 7 and narrow 7 okay it will really help enhance your trading and it will help enhance your decision making in the live market okay so yes uh, one new tip for all of you so okay with that i i am still not seeing enough like so please go and please hit that like button everyone i want all of you guys to go and hit that hit hit on the like button and with that i think we've reached the end of today's session we will wait and we will see how the market pans out for the rest of the day we will all tune in and see what happens on the rbi policy meet also today and we will meet again next week and till then i would require i would say all of you have a very great day of trading and a very great week of a uh, weekend also 
and in the weekend what i want you guys to do i have uh, shown you many many videos and i have shown you many methods on how you can sort of use this uh, weekly time frame okay ye ye weekly time frame and daily time frame to go and pick out stocks ye cs rank 1 wala stock jo hai to go and pick out stocks and to create watch list and be ready so i want you guys to you know go through all of that see all the stocks that are coming in weekly see all the stocks coming in coming in daily add them to watch list once you have added them to watch list maybe add an rsi condition over it and create another smaller watch list from that okay how to do it is first go and explore all pages see all daily weekly and add it to this one big watch list okay like how i have added here bullish karke ye bullish watch list of mine has many many stocks सारे जगह पे देख के मैं ऐड करते रहता हूँ ऐड करता हूँ तो इट कैन हैव फिफ्टीन और मे बी इवन ट्वेंटी स्टॉक्स माय बुलिश वॉच बुलिस बट देन व्हाट आई डू इज आई गो फ्रॉम देयर एंड आई गो टू द आरएसआई पेज एंड ये आरएसआई पेज में आई गो टू डैशबोर्ड एंड देन आई यूज अ स्मूद इन आर एंड आई सी फ्रॉम दो ट्वेंटी स्टॉक्स बेस्ड ऑन अ स्मूद इन आर एस इज बुलिश ऑन डेली बुलिश ऑन वीकली बुलिश ऑन मंथली ऑल थ्री साइमलटेनियसली तो इट्स अ वेरी वेरी हाई लेवल ऑफ इंटरेज इन दैपनिंग यूर so i go i choose daily i choose weekly i choose monthly bullish ye sara stocks mere ko mil gaya from here i just go and change i choose i choose my watch list i i caught me down to seven stocks i select all of the seven stocks and <coughs> i create a new watch list called bullish momentum or whatever and uh, say watch list to watch list rsi and i do add and main ye karu तो ये मेरे वॉच लिस्ट आर एस में ये आ गया एंड उसके बाद व्हाट आई डू इज आई गो टू ऑल माय अदर पेजेस इन द नेक्स्ट वीक वाइल आई एम ट्रेडिंग इन लाइव मार्केट वेर एवर आई एम रोलिंग टिकर और योर लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल ये रोलिंग टिकर एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आई विल ओनली गो एंड आई विल लुक फॉर द सिग्नल्स टू कम फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर वॉच लिस्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये देखो वॉच लिस्ट आर एस इसमें से टू आइटम्स है यहाँ पे एक आई सी बैंक इंडियन होटल लाइक दैट सो दैट विल हेल्प मी only work with high probability items high probability trading items ye jyada time nahi lagta 15 20 minutes spend saturday ka pura din hai sunday ka full day hai 15 20 minutes you all spend aapka ye kaam bahut easily ho jayega theek hai you will be you will be able to do that very easily all right and uh, with that i have reached the end i would like to thank all of you for coming in uh, and i would thank you for hitting the like button as well if you haven't please do it if any of you guys are watching here and haven't subscribed please subscribe that will help unlock the ability for you to start writing on the chat as well so please subscribe also and please share this link with all your friends uh, and bring them also to witness this particular live session okay with that <coughs> is the end my name is aditya ayer i am the co-founder of neo trader signing off for today bye bye have a great day and have a great weekend and we will meet again as always next week thank you